Hi everyone, in this video we will learn about delete data from database. Okay, in this video we will also learn how to create model controller list with delete buttons, make route, delete data from database table. So we focus on delete data from database table. So let's go to create the project together. And the first one, I start to create one view to list all the database from uh, the data from database like here. I use uh, inventory and my table is customer. I need to list down all this data and have the option to delete it. Okay, so uh, before you uh, create the project, sorry, we create the view, you need to check the connection first. You can go to ENV here, click on it, and you check your connection here, my actual uh, database name, uh, user, route, and the password. So in this case, I have completed. So let's go to our resource and view and I create one file called uh, customer list dot let dot php then here's I have I write some string close it this is customer list and I create tables close table and I open TR close TR Add TD close TD I copy this in my table we have four columns so the first one is ID and name gender address so I create one more column is delete okay let's save it now I create one row for this view so we go to row with that PHP, click on it and create row you you put the URL is customer sorry is list and you show the page customer list okay so let me use capital letter and I save it let me test it can go here and you type list that fine so now I create one uh, model for connecting to the database so let me check in my database here inventory and the table name is customer so customer here is plural so the model name will be singular so it means that customer without us let me control it let me create it so php addition makes model and model name is customer so it is the convention you can see here you must uh, the let the first letter is must be capital and no s at the end okay so you can check here the table name is with us so when you create like this convention it will connect with this table automatically you no need to config if you put here like uh, customer without us you can also connect but we need do a little bit configuration in the model okay so in this in this case, I no need to do configuration. I just make with the convention. 
so enter it okay so you can check here is customer and now I create uh, others controller so for create a function to list the data and delete the data so PHP addition makes controller my controller name is you can put any name of controller it's not have convention for it for it okay so customer controller just in it sorry okay I have something wrong on my command so let me correct it here at the send in it okay success we go to HTTP controllers customer controller here click on it we create one function here for function my function is the first one is list like this and then we write data and data equals customer or we use function or I mean we get all the data from table customer so here is the model name I need to import the model here so use apps slash model slash model name is customer okay sorry I save it and then I just in here we return I return you and my view is list I return to list and then we pass the array name to the view so here the key customer and the value is data okay so let me save it and then we go to create let me check let me check this okay so now we go to our view here we use like um, for each customer so customer here is from here it is the key here and here we just put the line and customer so the customer here yes here and I copy this pass it sorry yeah, sorry my bad copy it again and I write something yes to show the data so la cost you put the key here is ID and you can copy and pass it and change it so here is name and gender and then gender and then address okay let me save it okay that's right so let me go to route I need to change this route so my route is route gets my URL is list and we need to put the uh, controller name here is customer controller class you put function name my function is list okay 
save it let me check don't forget we import the uh, controller here use app slash http slash controller and control name customer controller okay let me show the data okay refresh our project okay maybe something wrong so let me change it okay something wrong on view list not found okay maybe okay it's the wrong my view name my page name is customer list so i just so we can try it customer list okay so that's fine i save it and now i refresh it okay it's good so let me design i will put the border in here and we have some link on here when we click here we delete the row here okay so let me go to customerly.blad.php and we specify border and then we use in this one large age press okay so my a rest okay my a rest my a rest equal cos id here we close okay in here so in here we need to add delete I go to my route I create one route here so my route is delete sorry sorry okay okay when we add the we need to add string delete here because we want to make the ul deletes so delete you create slash in here okay save it and we can refresh page and we can click on here you see here it have the ul like this so now let me go to check Yes, our route we have created it list and then we need to edit here we add IDs so it means that when we want to pass okay when uh, the URL is delete and have the value pass in ID here it will execute uh, on this function so we need to change this function to delete and then I go to controller and create one function delete so I create another function my function is delete and ID here is to get data from a URL here so and then data specify function find we find id and then we find id and then data okay delete it means that we find data in database and then we delete that data that data okay so in here we return i just delete this and we return and redirect okay so redirect to list save it okay let me test it go to list again and i 
delete this one okay you can see here and delete this 20 okay that's fine so that's all for my presentation about deleting the data the data from database so it it, it is very easy okay so we will see you in the next video so thank you for watching